Hey YouTube, not building anything. Nope, not doing it. Um, yeah, and I'm also wearing a jacket. It's 100 degrees one day, the next day it's 39. Yeah, welcome to Vermont. Uh, nope, not building anything. Stopped. Um, and I can explain later. Um, but I don't have a plan. I'm not gonna build without a plan. And I finally got to the point where like, I literally just can't move forward without having a solid plan. It's ridiculous that I even tried. Um, and the 30 day challenge is probably not gonna work. Um, I need a solid plan of exactly what I'm building, um, where all the loads are coming down. Like, this is ridiculous. Um, and so, that's that's my next step. I've been literally inside on the computer all day today, just trying to come up with a plan. Um, and I, you know, went to my lumber supplier yesterday and talked to him about beam sizing and came up with 400 more options. And there's there's just it's just not smart to go forward without more of a plan. So, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I put one, I put up one wall yesterday. Whoop de doo. Uh, and I, I got to this wall, which is now on the deck, and like ready to assemble. And I was like, okay, I'm putting in a big sliding glass door there, right? Yeah, that's cool. Right in the middle of the room. It's gonna look awesome. Except for the fact that the load from the ridge beam comes straight down through that door, and. You know, do I want to consider having two six-foot doors instead of one, you know, wider door? Do I want to, you know, can I size a beam? Can I afford a be the beam that is sized appropriately to hold that load? No idea. Lots of questions. Need some answers. So, I stopped building. I haven't even come outside yet today, except for today, right now. And... It, I... Like I hear, I hear you about the, you can cut the windows in later. Um, I also hear the, it's way more work to do it later. Um, and really it comes down to like, I, I now, like we've gotten, let me back up. So when I first started the series, we had a lot less nailed down. Every single day we've nailed down more details about the plan and we're really narrowing in on the windows. We now know all the locations, we know all the sizes, the windows aren't the issue. Now I'm thinking way ahead to the roof and how am I going to come down from the roof through the structure? And that has been challenging because the architect that I worked with gave me a rough roof load plan but he didn't have the version of the bug he didn't have the version of the plan that has a big hole in this wall and he doesn't have the version of the plan that has this big door here and so naturally both of those loads came down right in those spots there's a load that comes down here to kind of hold this room's low it's it's highly highly complex and i can show you in sketchup kind of what that looks like um but right now i'm backing up even further to okay maybe those original roof profiles that we chose aren't right or aren't going to work or are more complex than they really need to be and so uh, what i've done all morning is i've come up with the like five, five or six different roof options for types of roofs and then started to narrow down either ones that just now nah, that's not going to work or no that's too complex or does it doesn't provide the right number of options for what we need to happen for instance that roof up there creates a knee wall it's a nine foot ten foot knee wall right that spot right there upstairs is going to be our master bathroom but it's only the room is only like eight feet wide which means half of it is just knee wall and so ideally that's not a knee wall and so that roof kind of needs to change well if that roof changes 
I need to know how the structure was built in order to be able to remove those rafters, right? So if I remove these rafters here, what are those rafters going to do over there? Well, they're going to fall down because there is no ridge beam in this house. It's built with uh, two by 10 rafters and collar ties. And the collar ties are the ceiling supports. So that's what holds up the sheetrock. So if I edit that part, then I need to take out the ceiling and the rafters on the other side, which I wanted to do anyway, because I'm gonna put a window over here because the bedroom that is in that space that we have now needs a window in order to be a bedroom for egress. So in order to take off the roof on the house currently, that means affecting our kitchen room, living room, and dining room, and leaves us only two rooms left in the house, which are two bedrooms. And so how do we live for however many months it takes me to actually get a working kitchen again, which could be a while considering we're expecting a baby how many months is it going to be without a kitchen, living, and dining room? And is that even possible? Not really. And so, and that is only like a tip of the the iceberg that this is. Uh, no, it's it's a lot of the iceberg. But the other things are, ah, uh, there's just so many, so many things. And so, what I've been trying to do is build all this while thinking about all this, while planning all this. And I've just gotten to a point where I'm done. I'm done moving forward until I have the plan. Because I just can't build without it. It's just, it's, and it doesn't make any sense. Like, I've already put up one wall. So guess what I've decided? I've decided the height of that floor. That's kind of an issue. That's an issue because if I'm using TJIs here, as joists, that's one height. If I'm using exposed beams, that's a different height. TJIs are nine and a quarter, nine and a half. Exposed beams, probably eight inches. What am I gonna do with that? I mean, shim it? Yes, could shim it. Could, could do a whole bunch of things after the fact to retroactively fix things that I, like issues that I created by moving forward without a plan. Yes, you're right. But I don't wanna do that. I want to have the plan and then I want to move forward. I am going to do exposed beams, I think, but, and, and I've, I've moved forward with that plan for exposed beams, but it may not work out like for whatever reason, uh, there's, I don't know, there's a lot of factors there. Um, exposed beams. How do I get radiant floors? Yeah, I know how, but it has to be part of the plan. It has to be, Okay, I'm doing exposed beam. I need to end the finished floor of the addition at the finished floor of the current house. So I need to step down in order to do radiant floors. I need shim space, create shim space, create a, a chase for electrical, for a ceiling fan in the living room instead of like tucking it in the beam or something. I don't want it, I don't want it to be an afterthought. So um, that's, that's just the flooring part of this current Anyway, um, that's what I'm working on. And, uh, yeah, let you know how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to post any videos until I actually have something to post about besides this. And I would post videos of SketchUp, except they would be seven hours long of me clicking around and not talking. And... If I sped that up, it would be useless. And if I kept it original speed, uh, I would crash YouTube. So needless to say, I'm totally stressed out. Um, I don't mind stress. Um, but it's, you know, it's fact of the matter is that I'm like wicked stressed out. Not only that, but I only have a certain number of days when I'm off. I also have only have a certain number of days when it's beautiful out here it is so nice I just want to be building it's so nice now it's not 100 degrees it's absolutely the perfect temperature but I just <sighs> by the way this bucket truck put up that wall so nice 
uh, it's just like with the winch and just like picked it up wicked wicked nice anyway i'm gonna go back to work and uh come up with a plan and then move forward i'll let you know